to show you another succulent planter today. It's actually kind of funny because Erin and I were talking about how many planter videos we've been doing lately, specifically with succulents, and we thought we should lay off of them for a little while, but people keep bringing me the coolest stuff to plant up, and so I cannot resist showing you all of these things. So forgive the barrage of succulent planters. And can you hear the crickets in the background? They are going nuts right now. It's only like four o'clock. So check out this wood bowl. A um, customer actually brought this into me. It's a uh, antique hand carved dough bowl. So they used to mix dough in it and it is so cool. And she wanted it lined and then planted up with some succulents and also with some color. So I'm gonna use some moss roses in this arrangement too so it can have some really fun bright summer color. So I'm just gonna line it with a piece of plastic and use cactus soil, fill it up, and then fill it up with succulents. Pretty easy. These are always really interesting videos for me uh, to do because I never really know how they're gonna take shape. And I, I don't know how many succulents I brought home. They're down here behind me. I think there's like 30 to 40 down there because I want a lot to choose from when I'm doing this. Um, and I also, before I put stuff in, I like to really groom them up really well before they go into the planter so they look really sharp. These are fun ones. This is Portulaca. It's an annual in my area, um, but they provide really bright color all through the summer. So I'm really excited to use this because I don't normally use this in any of my succulent arrangements, but just check out that color. Awesome. Well, I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break because it is starting to rain. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Well, it stopped raining, but there's another big black cloud coming our way, and there's been thunder going on, and the wind's starting to pick up. So we are packing it in for the night, and hopefully we'll be able to finish the project tomorrow. Okay, I think I got everything I need to get started. So last night I got a sago pl palm planted. That's this one here, an Echeveria Contempo. Um, a turquoise tails blue sedum, some portulaca moss rose, and then a little grouping of cactus. And those weren't labeled, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of cactus they are. Probably could do some research. But um, the gal I'm doing this for, she wanted lots and lots of color in this um, arrangement. So I am going to use, um, I got, went and got my moss, and I got some large rocks, and I'm going to use some of those in the arrangement so it's not so busy with plants um, that it detracts really from the arrangement. So anyway, I'm just going to start in. This is one of my favorite Echeverias and you've probably noticed if you've seen any of my succulent arrangements lately. I've been using a lot of these. It's a Violet Queen and they are beautiful. Love the texture. Well, I really don't have a method that I start with with these kind of planters, except for I do start with my taller stuff first and kind of work my way around. Um, but I kind of just play with it and, until it looks good. So you see I left a big section right there. It's because I'm gonna probably work on this a little bit and bring up the height a bit. 
and I might even just fill that in with rocks and have it be just kind of a blank space, um, which sometimes you need in something this big with this many plants. Sometimes it takes me forever to do one of these because I have to sit and think about what I want to do next. I've got two spaces left, this one right back here and then this one right here. So I think I'm going to fill this one up with something. I've got some choices down here and this one, I don't know. So I think I decided to just leave this space alone and not put any plants in and just put a little bit of rock in. I think it'll look really pretty and it'll give it just some breathing space. I don't think I like the rocks up here and I don't have any sand at home so I'm gonna run to work the train. The train is not very far from here. Um, I'm gonna run to work and I'm gonna grab some sand. So if the light changes a little bit, it's because it's later. So see you in a minute. Okay, I just got back from getting the sand. I usually have it a little bit more together than I do tonight. So, but I didn't know what direction I was gonna go at all with this planter. So. I'm gonna just go ahead and tamp the soil down really firm. Um, when you're, I'm putting sand as a top dressing, you can't have a bunch of loose soil because it's really hard to cover. So I'm gonna come around the front a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna use natural colored sand. Um, this one's got a, kind of a more of a white look and then I'm gonna use one that's got some kind of a golden tone to it over the top. It is almost done. So the last thing I'm gonna do before I actually finish all the edges and everything is cut the plastic. And I'm gonna actually leave quite a good size lip because I do not want any moisture to be touching this bowl. I don't want the bowl to be wrecked at all. In fact, when I go along um, the edges to do my um, finishing touches, I'm gonna use a lot of rocks instead of moss because moss wicks moisture. And I don't want any moss um, that's wicking moisture that might be touching the wood to put water on the wood. So anyway, I'm just gonna cut the plastic. And now I'm just gonna go along the edges and just kind of tuck the plastic in just a little bit and just put rocks around the edge. So pretty easy. The rocks are done. And if you really take a good close look, there are some spots where you can see a little bit of plastic liner, like right in the front where the sand is, there's a tiny bit of a liner, but I didn't, did not want to risk the, um, the bowl. I didn't want any moisture to hit this bowl at any point. So I really like how it turned out. Um, took two days to get it done. And this is what happens when you work a full-time job during the day and then you try to do these things on your off time. So it just kind of stretches out a little bit. So anyway, we wanted to show you a little bit more of the process behind one of the videos. Um, sometimes they don't happen super fast, sometimes they do, um, but they're fun either way. So thanks for sticking with us and we will see you guys in the next video.